To create a playbook after you've made some plays, simply go to the playbook tab and click the new playbook button. For now, we'll say example of playbook. And then first chapter name, we'll call it forms. If you wanted to put it in a specific folder like fast print, you can, and it will just automatically populate in there. You can also just move it out into the playbooks folder itself. Now there's two things we can do because we're running, well, we've got a chapter called horns. I can select anything in horns or that's relevant for me. I can filter it down to just horns and then right click, check all plays. And then instead of manually adding one play at a time, I can right click add plays to chapter horns or check plays and they'll drop themselves in there. I can right click and create a new chapter and say inbound. And I can simply drag and drop sideline baseline. While obviously this is a five out motion, I can go and just drag anything into wherever I want. And I can rearrange it as simple as clicking and dragging. I can delete and it's saying, are you sure you want to remove the play in motion from this playbook? Yes. It doesn't affect the actual play itself. It's just removed it from the playbook. Something else we can do is create a new section and we'll go on numbers. We'll just drop 45, 45 and 54 and we'll rename this section to horns special. Now, if we go to preview, by default, it will be set up to one frame per page. So to make some changes, simply go to playbook settings. And by default, playbook is where you want to make your main changes before going into more detail for chapter and sections. So if I go here, I like the title to be the playbook title and I like the subtitle to be the season. Click apply, and then all the pages will have example playbook at the top and the season. Now, some of the plays are going to be 22 to 23 or 14 to 15. So you can see that that won't always be consistent if you're using plays from multiple seasons in your playbook. But it gives you the option. Now, to change the layout, simply go to frames per row, we'll go two by two just for an idea. The play labels, I like the play name to obviously be the first one, but instead of the series being the subtitle, I like to make it the frame label. Click apply. And now you'll see that it's horns double away frame one, frame two, frame three. And then it goes to horns double through frame one, if we go to the next page, frame two, frame three. So there's a couple of things we can do. If I scroll to the bottom here, we can avoid plays running over a page break. Now, if we click apply, it'll still remain two by two, but it will stop anything being run over two. So where horns double through frame one was here, it's starting on a new page to avoid it running over. Now, if this was five frames, frame four will be there and then frame five will be here because there's nothing we can do about that. If it's more frames than there are frames available for the page, it has to run over a page break. That will always be the overriding factor. You can set up print blank diagrams in an empty space. So if you want to have an option to manually draw over it or have some alternatives for players to think about, you can do that. And another option I'd like to use is to start each play on a new line. Now, because of how many frames there are and how little spaces there are with two by two, and we'll change it to three by three, just to show you how that looks. So now on page one, we have our section of horns special, horns double away, horns double through, horns Iverson pick and roll, and they're all three frames, so that works perfectly. We're still in the chapter horns, but we're now in section horns numbers. So now you'll see we have horns 45, horns 45 and horns 54. Now, what I'd like to do here is try to explain why this looks a bit odd and how we can change that easily. But I will just quickly jump over for the inbounds chapter two and three with a whole empty space here. So now this looks perfect to me. 
personally, I prefer this setup. There's three plays, three frames per play, so that just displays nicely, in my opinion. Now, if I go into chapter and make any changes to horns, it's going to change this page and this page. If I go into inbounds, it will only change this page here, where inbounds is the chapter that we're referring to. Now, another option I have is to go to section and go to horns numbers. Now, with horns numbers, it's only going to affect page two. And now I might go two frames per row, but still leaving as three frames. Hit apply. Now, to me, it's just a bit, you know, a bit larger, but it's maximizing the page without being too busy. But if I go to page one, where it's horn special, it's still three by three. If I go to the last page, it's still three by three. Now, if I go to chapter, inbounds, I can go leave it as three frames per row because base one has three frames, but I might go two rows per page. And that just gives it a bit more space to separate sideline, baseline. Now, entirely up to you. You might have that on a new page. You might have different options and you might have different preferences, but that is just the way I like to do it. And just showing you the difference between the playbook settings that set up the base of the layout, but how you can go into chapter and then section to break it down even further to maximize your preference of how you want your playbook displayed. Now, once you're happy with this, there are a couple of things. Now, I should have mentioned, because I do a lot of this, all these things here, you can include the core background and that's just a visual thing. Ideally, I don't like having that, especially if I'm printing it, but Entirely up to you. You can have a table of contents, which will obviously go to page one, and it will only show you the chapters that you've set up. Now, what I'm showing you here are a lot of options that you might not see the first time you use Fast Draw. So if you go to File, Program Settings, the Printing tab, and then click View Print Settings in Advanced Mode, that will allow you to see all those options there. Otherwise, you'll see, if I turn that off, playbook settings, you'll see a lot less options and you can't break it down by chapter and section. So because I use this a lot, it's something that I like to have a bit of control over. That is something that I do like to change. But because I've already set that up, it won't change what we have set up. Once it's created and you're happy with what you see, so we'll just quickly go back and turn that back on. Once you're happy with what you see, you can quickly print and it will take you to your normal print dialog. You can also print a PDF and it will show you, sorry, it's come up on my other screen again, but it will take you to the general save and it will save as a PDF. So example of playbook, I can save that wherever I please. Hopefully this helps you get set up using Fast Draw and some of the playbook options. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to support at fastmodelsports.com and one of our staff members will be happy to help. Thank you.